It's time for Over There with Morella Rostroffer. Morella is our European correspondent. She joins us weekly. She is over there. I'm picking a country, any country. I'm going to say Switzerland because it is, after all, after Labor Day and everyone goes back to work, even though they already had their bank holiday and it's not Labor Day. Hi, Morella. How are you? Hi, Jill. Yes, from Switzerland with so many news that I will have to be a little bit selective. Um, many things are happening in, uh, in, in Europe uh, concerning, um, regarding uh, all the political parties in every country. Um, Germany had, for example, some very important uh, local election um and uh, and and surprisingly or not so surprisingly so again a, a huge jump of the party um the the, the new party the new extreme uh, right party adf uh, so while the conservative party from uh, chancellor merkel cdu uh, still uh, won and uh, so there is not an, uh, an immediate danger um, it definitely shows that uh, a lot of things are changing right now in germany as in every single country uh, of uh, of europe what I would like to talk to you about is actually again Italy and again England because those two countries are the one that um, are facing the most drastic changes at the moment. Um, so it's worth, uh, for example, uh, having a brief re recap on Italy after the leader Matteo Salvini, the leader of the League, uh, decided to uh, basically make uh, his coalition stop after 14 months with the Five Star Party. Uh, after he did that, uh, hoping to uh, get very uh, quick new elections and hoping again to uh, be the winner in those elections, has been deeply disappointed as um, yes, the government is uh, gone, but a new coalition is forming right now between the PD, uh, Democratic Center-Left Party in Italy, and the Five Stars, um, who was the former uh, partner of uh, Matteo Salvini with the League. Uh, those two parties do not understand each other very well, to be honest. Um, the Five Star Stars has a completely different approach uh, as the left uh, party, even if center-left uh, in Italy. But I think their um, basically dislike of Matteo Salvini made them team up in order to succeed in forming a government. One of the conditions of the Five Star um, was to have, again, Giuseppe Conte, uh, the former prime minister, as a prime minister again, um, as it seems that uh, he is quite a well-respected uh, man um, that could be able to form uh, the new uh, government. We will know this week, actually, if that is really succeeding, as um, this week there will be uh, an, uh, an election, um, not election, a vote online of the members of the Five Stars uh, for a yes or no against uh, this uh, coalition. Because, as I said previously, um, at the roots, they are. They have never been really friends, nor having the same ideas about how to rule Italy. And that brings me to um, my final comment on Italy. While um, the PD and the Five Star Party have 
are probably, except if there is a surprise with this online vote, are probably going to uh, be able to uh, form this coalition. Giuseppe Conte will be able to um, uh, nominate new uh, uh, ministers. Uh, but the, questions, the question remains because Italy has seen a lot of governments, one after the other. And the question remains to know if it is enough to have a common, um, I wouldn't say enemy, but uh, uh, it's, it's almost on that level in, uh, in Italy. If, it's, if that is enough to actually form a coalition that is going to be successful in uh, uh, doing a good work, in uh, bringing up uh, uh, new laws and in trying to help uh, the Italians in a phase uh, and a time that seems to be especially difficult. Um, this, is, uh, this, is, this, this is really a question mark and uh, one, of course, uh, hopes for the best, but um, these kind of alliances that are not based on common uh, directions, on common beliefs, on common philosophies, have proven in the past to be extremely difficult to lead. And I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Matteo Salvini is just sitting back in now uh, the opposition, pushed in the opposition, basically waiting for uh, for his moment to come back when um, this coalition is going to face the first um, uh, the first problems uh, we will see it's an ongoing story there is still this vote online that has to go through uh, this week and after that uh, a new a new government will be formed and we will see how Italy, is able to um, find a balance uh, between the wishes of uh, two very, very different parties. Two other extremely different parties in England this time. It is definitely um, a situation that is absolutely critical for, uh, for the UK. Uh, Prime Minister Johnson uh, unexpectedly uh, decided to suspend the parliament ahead uh, and go to recess uh, ahead of a Queen's speech. And obviously everybody um, uh, um, thinks that this is uh, a way for um, Boris uh, Johnson to send everybody away just before the 31st of October, which is the date of uh, the planned Brexit, giving um, with this forced holiday, in a way, very little time to the MPs to, to be able to um, oppose whatever he's trying to do. Um, this has been considered by many like some kind of a coup. And uh, while um, I'm not sure if that is legal or illegal, as uh, one can read many different uh, opinions on, on the subject, the fact is that the MPs from all boards um, are coming together to apparently take control and, uh, and, and, and stop a Brexit uh, without deal. This would have to be done uh, with a bill. And um, it seems that there are enough angry people to eventually reach that goal. Uh, this is also the reason why Boris Johnson uh, reacted immediately and said that if this is the case, if the, uh, the MPs, whoever is part of that group, really manage to, uh, stop, uh, to stop him with uh, a no-deal Brexit, if necessary, then he would call for uh, new elections. Uh, as soon as the 14th of October, as a matter of fact. And this is when it becomes very tricky because, uh, for example, the Labour Party, his opponent, um, 
Corbyn always said that he would totally back him up on the new elections because obviously he's hoping that uh, in all this turmoil he would be the winner. Uh, so th it's uh, it's it's a difficult situation now for the people of the Conservative Party, Boris Johnson Party, because they feel, at least some of them, feel that they are given the choice between a Brexit without deal or whatever deal uh, Boris Johnson is thinking of, or the the the. The possibility of uh, of Corbyn um, being a winner with uh, with new elections uh, that makes the positions very uncomfortable because a lot of conservative uh, MPs uh, do not want a uh, no deal Brexit. They are extremely afraid. Uh, they some of them think that it would be at least at the beginning, a complete mess with all sorts of goods, uh, including uh, really important medicine supplies or food, and and maybe of course um, eventually a, uh, a a border in Ireland. Um, that would, in other words, more or less paralyze the country and. This is uh, this is something that is um, feared uh, by many. On the other hand, there are also some people who are um, saying that by taking away the possibility of a no deal Brexit from uh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Um, it would also undermine his role in uh, in the in the EU, as they would eventually take advantage of the situation, um, not grant anything more than they already did, um, almost giving the feeling that they are punishing England for this uh, Brexit situation. Uh, and 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 that could eventually also upset people in England even more, and make the results of an election in uh, in October completely unpredictable. This is uh, this is uh, for sure uh, something I would not bet on because while one has the feeling that there are a lot of anti-Brexit people, especially in London, as this is a metropole and as this is a, country, uh, a city that lives from uh, uh, also f foreigners working and doing business there, there is also the rest of the country. And if there is something that has been clear in Europe lately is that people don't like to have the feeling that there is some kind of blackmail or that uh, they are being punished for some reason. And uh, this sometimes led to results in uh, elections that were uh, quite surprising. Um, and maybe as a reminder, this is also uh, one of the reasons why the, the Brexit came to be uh, at the first place. And um, I think I think it would be it would be a good idea to um, to not alienate the people and not to give them the feeling that if um, if if they want a Brexit they are going to be punished for it. Uh, that that could send eventually a, a wrong signal for a happy relationship between the European Union and uh, and England in the future. Thank you very much, Mirana Rostov, over there. My pleasure.